Okay, having launched the Smart Cities mission, the government's focus is on the many metro rail projects that are critical for the success of its urban development initiatives. The Prime Minister's office wants all metro rail projects completed without any further delays. Onitam Ojha does a status check. After the Delhi Metro success, India's Metro Rail story seems to have fallen apart. Not just the PPP projects but even the government-funded projects portray a dismal picture with huge cost and time overruns. With PMO cracking the whip on timely completion of projects, the Urban Development Ministry is now on its toes to ensure completion without any further delay. But according to industry experts, government needs to revisit the modalities to get the metro rail back on track. I think it's a question of how will you structure the organization, how will you structure the project, what kind of empowerment you give, what kind of trust you can have in the people who are going to drive that project. That will determine the, the success of government funded projects. On the PPP side, you have to be constantly flexible. If after procurement, the government just pulls out and becomes just a client, which happens in almost every time, then that PPP is very difficult to do. On the PPP front, the only two private players, Reliance Infra and LNT, who opted to be part of the metro story, had a tough time handling the projects. Reliance Infra exited the Delhi Airport Express Line in 2013 and the Mumbai Metro Line last year. LNT is struggling to move ahead with the Hyderabad project. Metro rails are considered to be among the expensive infrastructure projects costing about 500 crore rupees per kilometer for an underground stretch and at least 125 crore rupees per kilometer for an elevated stretch. In the absence of proper risk management solutions in the concessionaire agreement, the private players have no option but to exit in case of any adversity. PPP model in the metro sector has yet to mature and many of the learnings which uh, can be said that the it starts from the basic planning of the project where the if, if the proper project planning is done it uh, certainly reduces the challenges then further the allocation of the proper risk if the past project the risk has not been properly allocated among the ongoing government funded projects work on Ahmedabad metro started in february this year after a delay of 8 years the 42-kilometer Nama Metro or the Bangalore Metro is delayed by over three years. After having missed the 2014 deadline, Kochi Metro is expected to be ready by March 2016. In Chennai, only 11 kilometers of metro work has been completed since 2009. Delhi Metro Phase 3 might miss its deadline of 2016 due to difficulty in removing Jugi clusters which are along the alignment. The government is planning 50 more metro lines to improve urban connectivity. For this to happen, the government will have to look at a mix of PPP with higher viability cap fund and the government will have to be ready to absorb risks in case of the project turning unviable midway. In New Delhi, Onitam Oja, NDTV.